Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss about Newton method. So Newton's method to find the natural frequency of a system of one degree freedom in case of free vibrations, we use the Newton's laws of motion. So let's assume that there is a mass connected to some spring and it is having some uh, this displacement in x direction. So we know that if x is the displacement, it's dx upon dt or change in displacement with respect to time gives the velocity and change in velocity with respect to time, it gives the acceleration, right? So the applied force on the body is mass into acceleration. We have already talked that the second motion, Newton's second law uh, of motion, it says that force applied is proportional to the acceleration. So force applied is m into acceleration. Now we also know that in case of spring, if some force is being applied, some external force, some equal and opposite resisting force acts, which is the restoring force and it is denoted by S, the spring stiffness into the displacement. So here comes the Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So this force is actually equal to the restoring force and in the whole system we also say that the sum of these two forces is equal to zero so what is the external force it is m mass into acceleration plus the restoring force it is equal to zero if we take m common we can write the equation in this way and if we compare this equation with the generalized equation of SHM, we'll find that the natural frequency of the system can be given as under root S upon M. Now, if we try to find the uh, equation for the natural frequency in case of a vertical spring mass system, so it will be something like this. Let's assume there is a spring of some spring stiffness S at some position, equilibrium position AE. Now, if we add some mass to it, some static deflection, let's say delta takes place in such a way that the system is in static equilibrium. So what will happen for every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. So S delta, that is the restoring force is equal to the weight, which is equal to M into G. Now, if we pull this mass down and we bring about certain deflection in this uh, you know, spring, so the new equation will be equal to, so the inertia force is what? Mx double dot, right, which is mass into acceleration. And this is equal to what? The weight of the system minus the spring stiffness that is acting in the upward direction. So inertia is acting in upward direction. This uh, restoring force is acting in upward direction and the weight is acting in the downward direction, right? So the total spring stiffness for the whole system is S into, so there are two displacements, X and delta. So it becomes S, X, S into X plus delta. So if we open the bracket, it becomes S into X minus S into delta. Now from this equation, we already know that S delta is equal to mg. So these two terms, they get cancelled out, right? So what we are left with is this and these two factors. So which is m double x double dot, which is mass into acceleration. If you take this factor, that is the restoring force. On the other hand, it becomes positive. So it becomes positive restoring force, which is spring stiffness into displacement, which is equal to zero. If we take m common, we get the equation in this way. And this is the equation of SHM. So if we, uh, if we compare these two equations, we'll find that the natural frequency for this system comes out to be under root S upon M. So we see that the natural frequency in case of the spring mass system in vertical as well as the horizontal systems, it remains the same, which is under root S upon M.